What's up, family? Marcus here with the Puka Minute Podcast, Yanni's Card Kingdom, and as always, a special thank you to Strictly Average's blog. Make sure you guys check it out. We have uh, the cute puppy binder in front of you here. We're going to go over page two to show you the revised look of page two. We are also going to do 12 total spins, uh, seven for Delaire Bear, three for Louise F, and two for Luke B. That's why we have this 20-sided die here. So let's go ahead and take a look at page two exclusively, and then we will do our 12 spins. So on page two, you'll see a spot for a repack. You'll see a lot of MM3 foils. Here, what's visible is a foil promo sort of Caldra. Have a repack here already made and ready to go. We have our re-roll token that does always have one card behind it that is a secret. We have a Scavenging Ooze, another lot of MM3 foils, a Grizzle brand, and uh, I can't quite remember what this was This was in here, but I don't think it's just foils. But what is showing is a foil ground assault. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do our spins. We're going to do them one at a time. That mainly is because I don't have a pencil. But hey, check it out. So we also have here... 12 things that we're going to put in each thing that's taken out. And you're also going to see at the very end of the video while we're changing it to $5 a spin. No 350 and 3 flat after that. It's just 5 every time. So, let's do our first spin. We're going to do Delaire Bear. Page will be page 8. Let's go to page 8. All right, you've got an MM3 repack. You've got a lot of foils. You have a playset of Serum Visions, a repack already made, a reroll token, uh, a f uh, Yanni's expertise, Yeheni, Yanni, Yeheni's expertise, a foil lot, Entreat the Angels, and a foil seance showing. I'm not sure what's behind it, but there's lots of cards behind it. So let's see which one he gets. One. So. Delaire Bear gets a MM3 repack in his first spin and is being replaced by a Foil Flicker Wisp. So, what page will you go to next, Delaire Bear? 18. Alright. Since we aren't really going over these pages yet, I'm just going to do the roll because we will get to these pages later, but you will see there is a some pretty good cards in this page. So, the card he gets is... It's a 10, so we have to re-roll. A 2. So he gets this lot of MM3 foils, and it will be replaced by the Stony Silence. So that is two rolls out of the way. We still have five to go, so his next page will be page 1. And we did already go over this page on our video that was published not too long ago. So we already all know what is on this page, but what does he win? As you'll see, there's a voice of resurgence down there saying hello. And it's a 10, so we re-roll. And it's a 5. Pretty sweet, because he gets the token with my initials. He gets the card behind it, which will be a secret. And he gets another spin on this page. If he does get another 5, there will be no prize. 11. So he gets a 1, which means he gets a repack. Again, nice pull. That is 3 total spins. Got 4 more to go. What page will we work on next? We are actually replacing that with a MM3 booster. Sealed MM3 booster. Nice. Page 5. All right, like I said, we won't be going over these exclusively until we get there. But he does win number six, which is a Death's Shadow from MM3. His next page to be working with, as it rolls all the way over here, is 17. Oh, we do need to replace that, and oh, take a look. We got an Arid Mesa. It says on eBay, but I'm just reusing a sleeve. Page 17, his spin win will be a 7. 7. What do we got over here? 
card showing is a Celestial Sword. Behind that Celestial Sword is a Zillion Sword, a Rune Sword, and a Quicksilver Dagger. Pretty sweet pull. What does he get next? We've done one, two, three, four, five spins. He's got two more to go. We do need to replace that spot. We have this lot of MM3 there. Page nine is where we're going next. All right, here's page nine. His second to last spin yields number eight. And we all know that's down here. He has, ooh, more swords. A foil sword of Puron's and a bonfire of the damned from MM3. Nice pull. His last roll, we have to replace this with a Linvala. That works out nicely. His last and final roll is going to be on page re-roll on page four. All right. Here's page four. His final roll, total of seven, unless, of course, he gets this token in the middle. 13, which is a 3, which is this MM3 lot. Apparently there was an extra sleeve in there. And here he gets uh, Seaside Citadel, Savage Lands, Arcane Sanctum, Jungle Shrine, and a Foil Sidraxis Spectre. Pretty cool spins, if you ask me. Congratulations, Lair Bear, and you'll also get those repacks, too, so nice. You hit on that Death Shadow as well. Next, we've got Luis F. We do have to replace this, though. Since there's already a repack on the page, we'll, re we'll replace it with this Foil of Stony Silence. Alright, the page that Louise F. will be running with is... Page 2, which we just went over. Oh, looks like I forgot to replace something on page 1 here. Good thing I've got this stack here that equals out 12. Page 2. Louise F. Getting number 6. Scavenging Ooze. We'll replace it with a repack. And the next page he'll be running with on his second spin is page 10. Got a Play set of Vencers down there. Number five. He gets another spin. He gets this golem token with a signature on it. Which will re no. Actually, now I remember why we didn't replace that other one because the token's going to go there. Uh, he gets a card behind that and another spin on the same page. Now I remember. So his second spin is a repack, along with that token and the secret card behind it. And we will replace that with another repack. The page, his third and final page, page 14. Got a place at a Thrag Tusk down here, and Nahiri up top. Death Shadow over here. Foil Pyromancer Ascension, lots of good stuff on this page. And he wins a play set of Thrag Tusks. Nice. So, Louise F. Got a play set of Thrag Tusks, a repack, a token with a signature, and a secret card, along with Scavenging Ooze. Got to replace that. What page will be working on for Luke B? He gets two spins. Page nine. Alright, his first reward slash prize is a repack. Got an 11, which means one. We'll replace that with this right here. And another card behind it. Got my children in the background getting mad at Minecraft, most likely. Alright, and the last and final spin of the day and for Luke B is going to be on page 7. And his final prize is, looks like we've got a Foil Path to Exile down here. 7 or 17, oh, close, 16. He's going to win this Abrupt Decay. 
Now, this is what you've all been waiting for. If you didn't have spins today, you're about to find out why we're changing it to $5 a spin. That's because our uh, little blank spot here is going to be taken by this booster box of any standard set that the winner would want. So we're going to put that right there. That's going to be the big hit in this binder. We'll go over that when we do page 7. Remember, page 1 and 2 have already been spoiled. I'll replace these token spots after the video is completed. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, checking out page 2. I hope you enjoyed the 12 spins. And for the three individuals that did spin, thank you for supporting us here at the Puka Minute Podcast in Yanni's Card Kingdom. Remember, if you guys are looking for cards, looking to complete sets uh, of anything of the nature and need some MTG product, remember to get a hold of Yanni at yannitherose at gmail.com. It's the with an A. Yannitherose at gmail.com. I'm Marcus with the Puka Minute team, and I am out until we do page 3. Coming up.